In Nashville, I would say that I'm mainly known as over the top. Nobody really knows me for my singing, but I'm really hoping to turn it around as soon as I can. What makes me a bad girl? Because you don't seem like, you seem like a little dog. Oh, my. See, looks can be deceiving. I am a control freak. I'm very uh, manipulating. I'm considered the bad girl of country music. But, oh, really? Uh, yeah. So you've done videos? Mm-hmm. Wow. Was on the cover of FHM, and I'm considered the person who's the sex kitten instead of the talented person. Oh, that's not good, though. That sucks, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> For me, I became this strong, really independent person which backfired on me. I don't think there's anything wrong with a woman standing in a bathing suit, you know, in a magazine. And, and if a guy did it, it would be nothing. And um, it got me in trouble, and it ultimately lost me my record deal. So that's why I'm here. Ripsy is a lush. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you, she drinks. She drinks at night. She drinks when she gets up in the morning. I mean, her ideal of getting rid of a hangover is just to drink more. Those girls are crazy. And all I know is that I'm not holding their hair tonight, and Ripsy is not sleeping in my room. Good that doesn't look like yoga. <laughs> Do we have to pay? Mm, pay for what? For the show. For the show? Sure. <laughs> sure. No. I'm not as drunk as her. No, I'm not drunk. I'm not drunk, she's saying. <laughs> what are you? I'm, I'm <laughs> intoxicated. <laughs> intoxicated. <laughs> Quit, quit. What is your deal? I'm thinking Ripsy's playing, but she's not playing. Um, and I when I realize that she's not playing, I get scared. But why is she What are you doing? Stop! 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 You know what? Nobody else can tell because I can tell. What you know what? About? You know what? Because you know what? You like to hide everything. You like to pretend you're Miss Perfect, bitch. <laughs> what did he say? What did he say? No. What did he say? What did he say? Stop. Stop it. You're going to go home. Stop. You're going to go home. Hand on my no. neck. Stop. Stop. Come here, Carrie. It was not rude. She put her, I mean. That it's... was rude. That was over I'm, I'm going to talk to somebody about it because I don't like the way. I mean, I she know. had her hand on my throat like this with all her don't weight touch on her it yet. in the beginning. Oh. Don't f*** with me. I'm serious. Don't, don't, don't touch her. No. Just got attacked by Ramsey. She just attacked me. Look. Wait, wait, but that ain't right. <laughs> She's gone upstairs to get her. <laughs> don't. I will hurt you. Get now. away from me. You don't belong there. Oh. She did my neck like that yeah. in the beginning. That, I think she's what do you had mean? I think she's doesn't had matter. Problems. I shouldn't be treated no, that way. No. I shouldn't have been attacked. I mean, that's just uncalled for. Look at your neck. Yeah, also, I know. And I see. I mean, that's what I do. Do you want me to get you band-aids? It's really hard when you feel that alone. When you sit there and you think that you're nice and you're playing it safe. And all of a sudden, you're attacked. Hey. Hey. How's it going? Not good. What's the matter? My roommate attacked me. Are you what? She was calling me 30 year ass old and just saying Miss Prissy, Miss Perfect, and I don't know, all kinds of stuff. I feel a little bit traumatized, like when you get jumped for no reason and you're, it's your roommate, does it? I mean, I feel like I just feel traumatized. 
I just feel like I'm by myself, you know? <laughs> the weight got heavier and heavier on my throat, and then I couldn't really get her off. Or where were the other girls? They're just around. <laughs> Nobody really helped me. Why in the world would she do something like that? Was she pissed off at you or something? I never, we've never had any, you know, <laughs> nothing. I, I can't believe that you're so passive about it. I'm not so passive. Trust me, I'm being calm because... Well, did you punch her? Did you kick <laughs> that over? I tried. I tried, yes. I mean, I was scared for myself. Because I was concerned about nobody getting her off of me. I just wish somebody would have been here. I just feel like I'm by myself, you know? I have, though, stuck up for myself. It's just been a long time since something like My that. God. Yeah. And that was way out of control. She was out of control. Do you really think she'll keep bothering you? Do you really think she will? I'm definitely, I, mean, I, I'm I'm def I definitely feel threatened, yeah. You can say that you were out of it so much, but you said specific things, and, and I don't know. I don't remember any of it. She had But you bring me. up, you know, the 30-year-old, you act so prissy, you think you're just so perfect and all this stuff. I've never done anything to you. I, I, I know. wasn't doing anything to provoke you. But the thing is, Next I was intoxicated. I, I mean, look at my neck. You can tell where your fingers were on my neck, choking me. Look, I mean, I have lacerations here. I've got them all on my legs, bruises, all in here. I'm not going to live that way. It's just not fun. It's down either she goes or, or I go. She has issues. Ripsy? Yes. Oh, gosh, yeah. I don't regret the fact that Ripsy is leaving, but I'm sad that she won't be able to go through this process because I think Ripsy had a lot to learn. Okay, see where that bed thing is? God, Here, this I'll take place you over is there. awesome. I'm trying to tell you a story. I know. Be I'm compassionate, just a little please. Up. It's all about me right now. Uh, when is it not all about you? Hello. So I was sitting there. <laughs> and that's when she came over here. Oh, my hands. Okay, quick, quick. What is your deal? <laughs> what? Don't. What are you doing? What are you doing? She came back into the house and chased me and attacked me. <laughs> she started getting on top of me, and I was already down, so I was kicking her. I think what was the the worst part though was that I felt like nobody would get her off of me. Right. I <laughs> don't you don't need to start crying now, baby. Thanks, bitch. Yep. You got me feeling like I'm your bitch this weekend. <laughs> Fly here to California for two days and make me feel better. dollars. What six hundred dollars for me, honey? He's hot. Mm -hmm. I love his tattoo. Let me just touch it. Jody and I are both excited because he's hot and fresh meat in the house. Lay down and let us look at you. Steve is definitely my type. I mean, he's nice to look at. <laughs> All right, be a bad girl. Yeah, we have to take you upstairs. All right. Is that your boyfriend? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's adorable. He just left. You wow. missed him. <laughs> Do you miss him? <laughs> your boyfriend's gonna be mad. <laughs> I love attention. I like to flirt. I still want to have a good time. To me, it's harmless fun. I'm sitting there trying to talk to Steve. The next thing I know, he's trying to kiss me, and I'm pulling away. That made me uncomfortable. We were dancing as a group. Uh-huh. I think that's a different. No, it's not. It, we were just having fun. Is that what having fun requires, is to dance with another uh, guy? No. <laughs> Would you stop, please? Zara is very naive. She doesn't see things for what they really are and everybody else in the house does. We are teaching Zara a good lesson by just ignoring her, and I don't think that Zara's really ever experienced tough love. I just want you to have a blossoming love interest so that I can sing love songs. She said that you said you didn't want to go to a black club because... I'd feel uncomfortable. That's what I said. That's why she's upset with you. I just wouldn't feel comfortable. And maybe you go up to her and say, look, when you're ready to talk, I just want to say that you know, I overheard that that might have offended you, and sometimes you might express yourself in a way that you don't know is, is offensive to, to her. I don't feel like you're a racist, but I, I am do. the one in my town that sticks up for other races. And you can ask anybody in my but town. But if you offend that. somebody, and even if you don't know it, I, I mean, know that it, they, they take it personal. I'm here to tell you, people from Baltimore that think that there's a golf course on the camping grounds are. It's just not, that's not good. It's not going to happen. Mm -mm. I'm going to get you, Amy. I know you told. I know you did. We're going to have to get Amy back now. And before we leave, we're Play picking that rat. rat. Yeah. She's going to be pissed. <laughs> Game on. If you're talking to me, then talk to me. If you're talking to them, I'm talk to I'm talking to everybody. Let's just all not hang out together. That might be good.
I don't even know who this guy is. The guy that's hanging out with us that Jody continues to feed for some reason and wants to have a bonding experience with four girls and a guy, which wasn't the plan. Okay, girls, get it done and get your chairs. Bag Why do you have to go home? That's how it is around here. You break the rules, you go home. Screw him. We do the walk of shame, strip down to our lingerie, and put toilet paper all over the manager's place. From my understanding, the mouse that Deanne put under Amy's bed got us clothes spread out all throughout our room, but I guess Amy felt like that was a way of getting us back for playing a joke on her. I didn't really think that it was that big of a joke. I heard slamming of the door, loudness, then I heard you, you and then I heard you go, no, you. Right. Okay, my time's coming on. All right. And she's the first one to go. Yeah. Deanne's like, what, well, scared? <laughs> I'm excited about working on my music stuff. It's all I've ever wanted to do. I think that, that me writing with Bobby is the perfect opportunity for me to give it one final shot to see if I can make it uh, in the crazy music industry. So you wanna hear some of my karma song? Yeah. yeah. To my sisters in Atlanta that know how to bring it, I got my homegirl down in Texas who says it like she means it. And in upstate New York, how'd I say it? Uh, she's the star of the moon. Oh, I love and now it. Now that Philly, yeah, that girl's got some moves. And to all you other girls like me, this song is for you. I have no idea where this is coming from. I'm looking at Deanne. I feel uncomfortable because we're having this moment, and all of a sudden, Jody is craving the spotlight and stealing my moment from me. This isn't a guy that's driving down the street that you can just here's my number and it's a good time and I don't have to call you anymore. I've been dying to write with Bobby Tomberlin and Jody doesn't even seem to be concerned. That's so frustrating and it, it pisses me off. Now thinking back to that whole Jody and Bobby Tomberlin thing, it was again another example of the way my ex used to make me feel. Jody made you feel that way? when I felt like she was trying to take the spotlight, yeah. I, I unfortunately expected the people that you live with to care enough to want to support mm -hmm. whatever it is. Because that's what yeah. you would do. Yeah. That's, that's you, that's you. And I, I have to learn that people aren't, you know, people aren't like me. What can you do? I think Carrie thinks it's really sweet. Jody just says, Bobby Tomberlin wrote a song about me. And I'm thinking, oh my God, you know, and it annoys me. I think Jody sometimes has a hard time with sitting back and allowing the spotlight to be on someone else. It puts me in an awkward situation and it it just it really makes it makes me mad. It it angers me. Damn! I'm sue mowing with a girl. It's either Amy or Deanne. Deanne is having a party, and I know it's an excuse just to have poor boy Steve over there, but she wants to call it something else. They are gonna play kissy face all night long, and thank God I don't sleep in their room. Let's get it on! Me from Amy. Yeah. But thank you for telling me that. This makes me feel shocked. 
because I have no idea where it's coming from. And it hits home with me, the things that Amy's been saying. That doesn't hurt my feet. And then I was like, wow. That doesn't hurt my feelings. Are you letting Amy get to you? I'm trying not to. Well, why is it affecting you like that? I'm just not used to it. I'm not used to it. I mean, I'm used to trying to get that out of my life. Right. I don't think it's good. Maybe by bringing it up and bringing it, you know, confronting her about it, it could, it could force her to change her ways or, I don't know, just let her know that you don't appreciate it and you think she's a bitch. Well, Zara told me not to say anything. Oh, why? Did she make it up or something? No, I don't think she made it up. That's terrible. <laughs> yeah. If somebody has a problem with me or saying stuff about me, I wish that they would just come to me and say it. I mean, I feel like I'm a pretty open person and... I'll explain it as best I can. Tell her. Just about my career, making fun of it, that kind of stuff. I mean, it's very personal to me. It's my dream. It's my passion. I don't, I don't passion. really make fun of it. I just say it's your career. Just that I don't have any talent, stuff like that. I never said, I ne those words never came out of my mouth. Sarah is known to, when she's guilty, either not say a word or run from the problem. So I'm questioning, and I'm starting to believe Amy. I'm thinking, well, maybe she didn't say those things. I finally tell Amy, look, you know, let's... I want to ask you something. Let's talk about this, but I don't want to make it a big deal. Now I'm talking to Amy and finding out the things I'm finding out. I'm beginning to believe that Zara is a really good liar. I appreciate you telling me that. That's just wrong. I mean, who does this? Who throws bleach on your stuff or putting a mouse under your bed? That's just not normal. Sad that Amy can't take a joke. I just think that gives Amy a, an excuse to act out and be hateful. I feel like that's like way wrong. Spraying on my clothes. I mean, that's like, I didn't even put the thing under your bed. Yeah, it was funny because I thought it was a joke. Well, that that doesn't give you the to right me. to come spray on my clothes. You're, you're right. Maybe it doesn't. But I mean, how would you I feel if you're gone one day and I get pissed off you and, and I go and spray on your clothes? I mean, you cool with that? No, are you going to act gonna like this? Cool. No, I'm not going to be cool with it, but... I think Zara and Amy are both to blame. It's so petty and so childish the way some people operate in the house. The need to hate on people, I guess. I don't know. We both have Christian backgrounds, but... We express them in different ways. I don't have, feel like I have to talk about it all the time. And I think Jody just, she battles with feeling like she has to convince people that she's a Christian and spiritual person. I'm still confused on who Jody is because she says she doesn't like nudity, but she does want to do Playboy. I think that Jody struggles with wanting to be perceived as perfect and she contradicts herself. You're saying one thing, but you're doing another, Jody. She was looking at me saying, you are getting on my nerves. This is a big deal. I spent this much money. I yeah, thought, nobody was rushing her. And the whole contradicting thing is starting to piss me off. Look at it. Just take a look at it when you see it. It just is contradicting to your beliefs right, what you, say. you need to look at. Did you cause Ripsy to attack me? <laughs> <laughs> but they weren't cool to us, so how does that make you feel? That makes you feel bad. Them over I know. Us? See, you can't do that. She's trying to make herself feel better by saying that. Maybe it just helps Leslie justify why she leaving. Leslie. Yeah. yeah. Is, is tough, I think, for Leslie. She thinks she had the perfect life, really, in a way. She wants that lifestyle back, but yet she wants the best of both worlds, and life doesn't work that way. She's having to deal with that and justifying why it's not working out for her, but in the wrong ways. She's at that unstable point. I don't think she's gonna make it. I mean, I, I hate to say that, but I think Leslie's, she's gonna go back to her, her old ways, her old life. It's tough to get news like that and to not let it just beat you down so badly that you have nothing left of you. They're drinking the wine, which is not a good start on their part. They should be FYI'd or memoed or something that it's not good. I feel like we've been like invaded. It's not cool. We're like a family. That's like having in-laws that you don't like over <laughs> and having to put up with them, you know? I can tell y'all right now that Johanna, Johanna, who Hena, whatever her the, name the is, her and, yes, Zara are gonna, gonna be like that. Oh, yeah. Zara's sitting there going, oh, this girl likes to party. She's my kind of girl. We can stay drunk and be lesbians together. It's not, they're not, I don't oh, think they're, God. did you just throw peanut butter on me? <laughs> Quinn, <laughs>
Yes. Game down. Amy really? doesn't care anyway. She says we live in filth. So cool. Thank Amy. You. I'm thinking she's not going to notice, right? Peanut butter and feathers are very hard to clean up. Deanne and I instantly think we should just get Zara to clean up the house because it was Zara's idea. And I am Amy the Dark Angel. That's who I am. Apparently, Amy has told Jody that I'm in competition with her. I have no idea what that means. And I just think that in life, we're still in different places. Mm -hmm. Like, you're still searching for love. I already found love. You're not a singer. I am. I mean, mm -hmm. so the things that you have are not things that I'm looking for. Anytime anybody says, comes up to you and says something to you that I have said, just come ask me about it. Because I guarantee you, if I said something about you, I have a reason for it. Like mm -hmm. the Bobby Tomberlin thing, I'm not just going to go out and talk about you just to talk about you. I don't do that. If you would allow me to at any point, I would go in there and tell her, I know you don't want me to. Yeah. And until you're ready or ever ready, then I, I don't want to say anything. Mm -hmm. And I won't. I'm not one to stir up anyway. I don't know where this is coming from, and I've promised Jody that I won't say anything to Amy, but I'm going to. I'm going to bring this up, but I don't want to make a big deal out of it, because Jody told me I couldn't say anything to you. Okay. She was telling me that you told her that I was in competition with her. No. Obviously, um, it was a big the whole deal. Bobby thing. That's just how Jody works. She's like, don't say anything. You just can't say anything. But she's causing more trouble, is what she's doing, because she doesn't get her story right. I should call Jody out and say, well, tell her. I'm thinking, what could she say? I cannot begin to tell y'all how over it I am, though. I think it's so, oh, it's high so soul. annoying. Well, I'm serious. Mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm like at that point to where I'm going to go off. I can't help it. I am just coming off my trip from Nashville. Very excited about it and actually want to talk about it with someone and walk into drama, drama, and more drama. Jody, hey, y'all want to have this conversation? Y'all can bring your asses in here. I can hear y'all. That's fine, and I want you to hear me, Carrie. Well, come on and bring it, because I think you're full of <laughs> You're twisting my words, and I don't like it, Jody. I think that you're playing me and Amy, and it's bull <laughs> You think I'm playing you guys? Yes. You're the one that came to me and told me all the stuff that Amy said. I didn't say anything about it until you started pissing me off and twisting my words and telling people I was saying I wasn't saying. Taking it out of context, and that's where it all came from. Jody wants to believe that Amy and I have this big tension built up and we just don't like each other, and that's why all this has happened. Carrie, you're quite manipulative. You told Amy that I say constantly that she doesn't like you? Yes, you did. Because the like Bobby Tomblin incident it got doesn't brought matter. up. And yeah, I said, we even already Amy agrees that. with me. And don't twist but my words. And then you went You're twisting car. my words, No, Carrie. you're twisting mine. I never you said, said those that exact Amy words. didn't like you. The confrontation and tension was between the two of you. And you no, would constantly ask me. No, there was There's never any tension between That's us. That's the thing. There wasn't. It's awkward she told for you, that. not for us. You were the one making it awkward, not me. I think it is completely unfair that I got brought into the middle of this. I felt uncomfortable because I felt close with you and Amy. I think that you felt uncomfortable about it, but I didn't. And then when Amy was sitting here that night, we started talking about it. And I'm like, is there kind of weirdness between us? And we're like, no, there's not. So it's no, my fault that there was weirdness between you two? There was never weirdness. Oh That's the problem. There I was can't, never you know what, anything. Jody? I can't have a conversation with you, and this is why I can't. And because I'm, not I'm going confused. To. I'm genuinely confused. Well, be confused, because everybody else isn't. They're not. You are, but nobody else is, okay? Jody's not being ganged up on. I'm just being passionate about my conversation. I want to show people that you're not going to run over me. I've done that, and... I've gotten stronger through this process, and they may not know that yet, but I know that, and I'm going to stand up for myself. I hope she didn't leave over that, because that's stupid. It's just sad when anybody has to leave and you can't work it out, when you're supposed to, in my mind, be together, have a bond, be this family, and apparently it just doesn't work that way. Not in our house, it doesn't.